Today we have something really amazing, which is PCs for developers. Now I recently came across this application and it is fantastic and you will know in a while why I'm calling this fantastic. So PCs is something like a workflow copilot and they just released their GPT-40 support as well, which is great. Now you can install this over at your desktop, which means you can use this locally and the best part is it is completely free. Now, if you go down a bit on their web page, you can see that you can integrate pieces with almost all these applications out there like Obsidian, this Jupyter, JetBrains, and even Visual Studio. Now, if you go to the plugin section, you can get all of these extensions for all the browsers and applications. But what we're gonna do today is we're going to actually install this locally as well as inside my VS Code and explore how PCs app works. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Hi everyone, this is your host Shumbriz. Welcome back to Skill Curve. Now to install PCs, all you have to do is just click on install desktop application and it should take you to this page here where you can scroll down and download PCs Suit Installer. PC Suit Installer is an all-in-one package where you get the PCs OS as well as the desktop application. But just to let you know that what PCs OS actually is, you can just click on the alternative installation methods and you can see there is something named as PCs OS. Now, PCs OS is something like a background service which is running in the background and it is a must have if you want to run your PCs application or your PCs extension over at VS Code. I would recommend that you go with the PCs Suite installer as it will have PCs OS as well as the PCs application. After you're done installing which is a really standard and easy process, you can just go on and open their app and it will look something like this. Now, it is up to you if you want to change the theme, but recently I've jumped to light theme. You can go with the dark mode as well. All you have to do is just go to all settings here and you can change pretty much everything about pieces. It's appearances if you go to theme and you can just toggle the dark theme here, just like that. But I'll be choosing light theme for myself. It's up to you which one you choose. And I must say this application is beta flexible and you can adjust this according to your own preferences. Now, if you go back, you can see that I already have a few snippets here, but don't worry, I'm gonna go and show you each and every aspect of how you can work with PCs app and how it is going to help you in your development journey. So the first use case that I want to share is how you can just capture snippets from your code while you're working. So let's say I'm working with a database project over at my VS Code. So let's jump to VS Code right now. And as you can see that I have some migrations. Now, what if I really want to copy this code snippet and keep it for later use? All I have to do is just copy this, go back to my PCs app, and I can just paste it right here from my clipboard. And as you can see, there's a title and you get the code snippet right here. We can even start a copilot chat here. You can discover related links and you can duplicate this. We can even view this in gallery mode, which would look something like this. But let's go back to the list view and you can even go on and add it to your code, which is really simple. Just go on and enter whatever you want to enter in the code and save it again. You can copy, which is pretty basic. You can share your snippet and I'm going to show you how cool this is. But first I want to show you how to manage what you're going to share. So if you click here, you can actually go on, add some description, which will be actually shared with your code snippet. And if you click here, you can pretty much manage anything about the snippet, like generated a shareable link, adding related links, some tags, rename the snippet, and much more. But for now, I'm going to go with the auto-generated tags and links. And if you notice, you can actually see your context preview right here. The tags, the related links, as well as the title, which is really great. Now, this is one of the use cases that I love about this app but there are even more use cases. Let's say you're working with something, some component, or watching some tutorial and you can't actually copy the code. What if I told you that you can even take screenshots and save them inside pieces? Let's go and take a screenshot right here. Let's say I just want the screenshot for this one here. And once you have it, you can go back to your pieces app and here you can just paste it, which is great, isn't it? Now, what it would do is it would go on and convert this snippet into code. So you can actually go and view this as code by clicking here and you can view this as image as well. And if you see here, it says that 
PNG image of SQ, that is the title, but of course you can rename the snippet and you can actually start a copilot chat to talk about this snippet. So let's say I want to talk about this snippet and what it actually does. It gives me an explanation of what this code does and I can ask different questions about this code. So what if I want to change something in this code? It will do everything for you. And one more thing I really want to mention here is that it is using GPT-40 and it is completely free. You don't have to pay a single penny to use GPT-40. And that is just the beginning. You can search pretty much anything using natural language. Now, let's say I want to search for a Postgres SQL snippet. So I'm going to go and say Postgres and it's actually going to search throughout the app and give me the results, which is really amazing, isn't it? So this means that you don't have to look on the web for hours and hours to get useful code snippets. You can actually store your very own personalized snippets over time and later on you can extract them. Now, this was just the crux. There are different options. You can go with Copilot chats, workflow activity, there's global search and you can even go with snippet discovery which means that you can select files select folders or select github just it would discover snippets from those code files and extract them for you which is really mind-blowing what if i want to select a folder of one of my projects and there you go as soon as i selected my folder i started discovering snippets from it and then it will showcase those snippets right here although it's going to take some time because the project that i provided is a humongous project we can go back to discovery later on for now let me show you different features so we get different modes to view the code like the gallery mode and there's the list view mode but if you click on the list view mode right here you can even see the code that is inside a saved item on the list which is quite cool but i like my things really simple so this is how i prefer it and there is no limit to what you can do with this. If you click on add materials, you can go and paste code and images. There's discovery snippet. You can create snippets from scratch, which means you're going to write the whole code for yourself. You can describe a snippet and it will generate that snippet using AI. You can use the different plugins and import GitHub gist. Now, one of these features that I really want to talk about is describe a snippet to generate. So let's go and describe a snippet. So a snippet that I want is a connection snippet that connects my app with MongoDB. So I'm going to go and say connection snippet that connects my React app to MongoDB. Let's go and hit enter. And there you go. It did a pretty good job at the mongos.connect. But of course, we do async and await and a try catch block. But I think for now, this is more than enough. Let's go and save this to pieces and it's already saved. Now, if we go back, you can see that Mongo's connection configuration. If I click here, you get the code, which you can copy and use anywhere. I just love this feature. Now, that was all talk about the desktop application. What about the VS Code extension? So let's go to VS Code. Here on VS Code, it is really easy to install the extension. All you have to do is just go to the extension marketplace and you can get your extension. But once you're installed, you will get two different features. One is the PCS Explorer and the second one is the PCS Copilot. If you click on PCS Explorer, this will show you what you have saved, the saved materials, and it will categorize the materials. Let's say you're working with JavaScript. All the snippets of JavaScript will be grouped together. And as for SQ, all the snippets will be grouped together. Now, this is just one part. If you open up the Copilot, you can actually work with code. So let's say I want to generate SQL for creating a table. All I'm going to do is just generate SQL snippet to create a table named employee. That's it. Let's hit enter and there you go. A really simple prompt and you get the table. The code is there. You can actually go on and insert the code inside your VS code or you can actually save this to pieces. So let's click on here and it is already saved to pieces. So if I go back to my pieces, as you can see that SQL table creation for employee data is right here. Isn't that amazing? Now you can just select anything, take screenshots, or even if you're working with AI to generate your code, you can save your snippets inside a really well organized workplace. And to me, this is a blessing. Now we already went on and did copy paste, but what if I just select this and right click, I can actually go on and go to pieces 
and I can do a lot of things. I can ask the copilot, I can ask the copilot about the whole active file, I can modify this code snippet, I can save the current selection to pieces app, or I can save the whole current file to pieces app. Even I can search with this code snippet over our pieces. Everything is just mind blowing. So let's say I want to save this. Just click here. Back here, you can see that we get the code. I'm in love with this application. It is not only free, but it even brings everything at one place. You get the code generation, which means you are getting an AI peer programming assistant. Then it gives you a head start in productivity. Not only that, you can even connect with people, share your code, work with Microsoft Teams and different applications, even go with different browsers and different IDs. I totally love this app. And as you can see, it is working with GPT 3.5 Turbo. I can choose different models from OpenAI. Let's say I want to go with GPT 4.0. So just click on that and it will switch to GPT 4.0. Isn't that amazing? And everything is for free again. I just love this application. These were just a few use cases. This amazing application has so many potential use cases that you can explore for yourself. As for me, from now on, development starts with pieces. This is a must have tool that you should have on your arsenal if you are a developer. And with that said, that wraps up our video for today. I hope this video was valuable. If you found this video insightful, hit that like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring that notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. We will continue to curb your skills with the latest tech. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.